what's up everyone welcome to another video tutorial on this channel so uh, today we're going to take a look at glide now glide is an basically all-in-one uh, platform where you can create AI agents um, you can do a lot of different things like as you can see uh, you have mostly AI agents and this is like you can create like custom apps that you know for your business that you know, basically solves specific things so um, as you can see this is glide right you um, basically can automate most of your tasks uh, in terms of pricing if you want to you know start for free free is completely free obviously the plan uh, and you get like one app you get 10 personal users no updates needed up to 25,000 rows and um, this rows by, by the way is the maximum number of rows you can have in your app so your app can have more than 25,000 you know rows by using like high scale data sources and then you have key features like real-time data sync community support and stuff like that so for a free plan this is quite good we're going to try a free plan when you log in when you sign up you actually uh, are welcomed with this screen right here hello what do you want to create and as you can see here we can actually say okay I want to create something out of these or I can actually go here and summarize my own idea so if I uh, go here I can you know create task tracker I can create customer portal event app let's say I want to create like a, a, an event app I go here event management app for a team off-site and then we continue here and as you can see this will be very fast right it's creating an app it's setting up user authentication selecting screens right um, and here you can see what you are generating so usually it takes a bit of time uh, as you can see right now we have the app so you can also create like apps and you can create your own AI agents as well as you can see so as you can see this is the app right so we can sync our data from spreadsheets and databases we can automate tasks with custom workflows we can transform uh, our data with AI features integrate with you know other tools customize and, and stuff like that so as you can see this is how it looks like on the uh, on the on the uh, computer and this is how it looks like on the mobile phone so you can also build like prototypes of your apps right inside glide which is really awesome so let's glide here and let me actually show you what this tool can really do so um yeah as you can see uh so right here we're in there and um basically this is the layout this is um how it works right and let me just go back through these okay and then as you can see on this side you can insert components inside glide so that's one thing that you can do kind of and then you can kind of you know click here you can also see how this uh, works as you can see made with glide so really awesome and one thing you can do is you can go to workflows and in workflows this is where kind of you can build your AI agents right so automate that work wonders built-in moments automate time-consuming tasks so as you can see you have for example this is kind of like Zapier however what you can do is you can integrate it with this particular uh, app that you actually created so you have like layout you have data here so this is the data from the app this is the app itself this is the workflow so um, as you can see like add rows to table at midnight every night like you can create a new workflow it can be uh, a schedule right triggered on schedule it can be app interaction triggered by users of your app it can be webhook or it can be email right so triggers when an email is received so for example if we obviously go here right this is if you want to upgrade to maker you can upgrade it but here you can start from an existing one right so you have AI email summarizer let's say and then as you can see here you can pretty much go this is this is all by the way maker uh, if we want to go without maker we actually want to go to app interaction all of these are in the maker plan which maker is 49 dollars per month and then you get three apps you get also workflows glide support and stuff like that so if you go to app interaction this is how it looks like right and as you can see you have a context row app interaction and then you have uh here you can add a condition so as you can see a condition can be when the conditions are met the action will progress to the next step below so you can add those or you can actually go here and you can add like a, a data for example you know communication compose an email send an email so if you compose an email here and by the way this is where you can kind of go and uh, you know have data source so for example users this shuffle order you can kind of delete that um, 
So you can go here, you can add that. You can add a condition. So uh, when a user has, you know, within app, uh, so let me just go here, photo is, so let's say when the name is empty, then compose an email, right? And then you can go here and you can also go and uh, compose an SMS or share a link, right? So maybe you can do share a link here. So for example, you know, when uh, users um, interact with app right here, users, right? When the name of the users or of the role is includes, for example, CEO, then, you know, share a link, right? That's what you can do. So you can, obviously, these are some of the basic workflows that you can do with Glide. Uh, there are much uh, more sophisticated ways to use Glide. For example, in the settings right here, you can add, add the the, um, the name and icon. You can also change the appearance here of the layout, right? It can be uh, this appearance, this accent, right? Dark. However, it's very important that at the start, you're actually changing the style however you want, right? So we want light here. Privacy, you can uh, change this whether or not you want everyone to see integrations you can also integrate this with you know google cloud platform as well which is really awesome with you know xml with file csv uh, azure here you have like a bunch of different like google analytics a bunch of different integrations that you can do and then you also have if you go to data this is the database as i showed you previously you have a layout and you can add multiple different things to the uh, you know to the uh, layouts now, obviously it needs to be uh, done in a uh, you know, it needs to be done here. Like for example, you have map locations and then here, as you can see, you can actually go and change the map on the right side, change the style, change the tooltip and stuff like that. So you can do a lot of different things here. You have calendar as well, um, as well here. Obviously with workflows, again, you know, if you wanna use these workflows and if you wanna like create AI agents with Glide AI, you will need to actually go and uh, uh, upgrade this. but. If we go here also, if we wanna publish this, right? Let's say we wanna publish this app, we can publish it here. And as you can see, after we publish it, we can actually go to that link and we have it here. So yeah, and as you can see, this is an offsite orb. This is how it looks like right here. And by the way, it's going to open for me on the computer. So this is uh, on the, this is on the basically like, um, mobile phone and this is on a computer. So this is how it looks like, right? And as you can see, it looks really awesome. It builds apps really quickly, uh, really great for app building. Um, again, like, you know, this is probably one of the best ones uh, out there in terms of app building uh, or AI, like AI app building. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. This is kind of like a overview on it and uh yeah that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it guys if you want to check it out check it out below and uh yeah we'll see you in the in the next video thank you guys for watching